Now that we have all our reagents, we can now set up this experiment. All we have to do is add 2 microliters of reagent D and 180 microliters of reagent C into each of the two shown. Then we just add 1 milliliter of whatever solution we're trying to quantify and measure this using a spectrophotometer. Okay, so we have all of our solutions ready. Uh, and now we just have to take the measurements, but how do we use the spectrometer? Tony, you have to switch it on fast. Mm. Mm, I think the switch is right here. Okay, so now that we turn it on, we're just gonna let it warm up a bit and calibrate it to the appropriate wavelength. Okay. Since we know the malachite green complex forms from malidibate reacting with inorganic phosphate, we will need to account for any of that that has not been yet reacted. To do this, we will instead measure the solutions at a wavelength of 650 nanometers. This higher wavelength will correlate perfectly for how much inorganic phosphate is in our solutions. Okay, so now that we have all our solutions ready, I'm going to put them all in the spectrometer and then take measurements and record the data. Hmm. So, once we get our values, how do we make the graphs? So, to make the graph, Humphrey, all we need to do is plot our recorded absorbance values on the y-axis and on the x-axis record the concentrations of the known phosphate standards. Hmm. Oh, you see, Tony? The top water has phosphates in it. Oh, wow. I never realized how much phosphate was in the rivers. Tony! Tony! 